Hey everybody, and welcome back. Now then, let's see what awaits us up here. But first I want to quickly check something. My food. Ah, my frog is gone, and so have my mushrooms. So that means I need to get them back again. But it's funny how the python has stayed. Oh, there's another one. Let's try and capture this one alive. I guess because I didn't go into another area and save. That's why they disappeared, but it doesn't explain why the python has stayed. Yeah. Odd. Hmm. There we go. Hey! Nice one. To the mushrooms! Come on, snake. Getting stuck for some reason. Right. Pop over to my knife. There we are. And the frog should still be over here. I would have thought. Yeah. Something's moving. Where are you? Ah. Oh. Is that you? Yes, I think it is. Okay, hang on. Need to get a better position here. There we go. Right. There we go. Hey, hey. Nice one. Okay. Now, let's move on. We've gotten everything back, plus an extra python. So that's cool. Oh, magpie! Damn it. And there they go. I'll get my chance again, I'm sure. There's a little mechanic I want to test out while we're here still, though. We just climb back up. Come on, snake. There we go. What I want to test out is hanging and shooting, kind of thing. Um, I just want to say something. No, not like that. Um, triangle. Hmm. How did it go again? Just give me one moment. Just want to quickly check the instruction manual. Um, let's see here. So it says... Just got to find the right page. Post quarters combat. No, that's definitely not it. I think you have to hold down square or something like that. Hmm. Can't seem to find the page now. Isn't that always the way? Uh, no. Let's see. Lockers, no. Can't seem to find it. Ah, <laughs> oh, well. Hmm. Yeah. I swear it's something like hold down square or something. You can shimmy across, yeah. And drop, yes. Um, I just really wanted to test it out. I can do that, but that's not what I really mean. Hmm. Unless. I think you have to press... Hmm. Lightly tap triangle. See what happens. Just that. Okay. Hmm. Oh, look. Another one. Ah. I'm not sure. Maybe we can't do it on this branch. Hmm. I don't know. 
Okay, well, never mind. We get another chance, I'm sure. Now, as for you... Wait for it. There we go. Ta-da! Snake G! Let's take a look at him. Oh, it's a different snake. Ah! Cool. Anaconda. Wow. Giant one. Jeez. Huh. Okay. Got no more cages left now, though. Right then, let's move on. I also want to quickly just use my mic, just in case. Hmm. I think we're good. Yeah. I also want to try something out. Oh. Um. Maybe a quick camo change while we're laying down on the dirt, just to see something. Yeah, this has been reset as well. Hmm. You have to watch out for that. Leaf. Okay, so... No change there, really. But at least we're back to what we were wearing, though. So that's good. Right, a new area. Hmm, okay. Let's make a few calls. We'll start with the boss. Camouflage is an indispensable tool when you're sneaking through the jungle. To use camouflage, first press the start button to go to the survival viewer. Then select Camouflage and press the Enter button. Select Uniform to select Battle Fatigue and Face to select Face Paint. Choose Battle Fatigue that match the surrounding environment. The most effective camouflage is attained by selecting fatigues that blend in with the environment. Camouflage patterns that stand out in your surroundings will attract attention. Yeah. Paramedic. I see you've captured a giant anaconda. I did. The giant anaconda is believed to be the largest snake in the world in terms of weight and diameter. It's not poisonous, but its large size makes it extremely powerful. They say it even eats crocodiles. Its only natural predator is man. And snake. And yeah, I think snake. we've heard this conversation as well. Yeah. So how does it taste? I knew you were going to ask me that. I'm glad I didn't disappoint you. So we just say the rest of it. The guide says it tastes all right. Good. I'll have to try some. <laughs> okay. Hey, you Tom. Anything new? Sokolov should be at the abandoned factory to the north. So head in that direction. Right. One more call to the boss. Anything new to say? Visibility is poor in the jungle, so you'll be finding yourself in a lot of unexpected encounters. Naturally, this means that close quarters combat will be more important than ever. So I'll have plenty of chances to use CQC then. That's right. In proximity encounters, firing a gun isn't necessarily the best response to every situation. It's only one option among many. Rather than taking the time to draw, aim, and fire a gun, engaging your opponent in hand-to-hand -hand combat can sometimes be a faster and more reliable way of subduing him. Besides, in a sneaking mission like this one, it's too dangerous to go around firing your gun. You'll end up revealing yourself to the enemy. Yeah, I know. You created CQC to deal with exactly this type of situation. With your help, of course. In a battle situation, you'll only have a split second to decide how to attack. Use the I think we've had this one before as well. I'm just quickly looking through the manual the CQC button to while this is going on. CQC. Can't find that page. Press the CQC button once to throw a punch. 
Pressing it multiple times in succession will allow you to deliver a combo attack. But striking your opponent is just one aspect of CQC. It doesn't really start to shine until you've got your enemy in a hole. Press and hold down the CQC button to grab your opponent with your right hand. From there, you can use the left analog stick to knock your opponent off balance and throw him to the ground. This can be used to knock an opponent out in a single blow. If you don't press the left analog stick, grapple with your enemy until you're behind them and can get your knife to their throat. Grabbing an enemy from behind and holding your knife against his throat will render him virtually powerless. From this point, there are several things you can do. Press the CQC button hard to slit the enemy's throat with your knife. Move the left analog stick and press the CQC button to throw the enemy to the ground. Lightly tap the CQC button rapidly to choke the enemy. You can use this to knock yeah. him out or even kill him if you do it long enough. By continuing to hold down the CQC button, you can move around while keeping your grip on the enemy. By pressing the weapon button, you can aim your currently equipped weapon at another enemy. With their comrade acting as a human shield, the enemy will be reluctant to attack you. Move the left analog stick around to press your knife against the enemy and demand information. You'll be surprised at how much you can learn this way. But don't get too complacent. While your enemy may be powerless in your grip, he'll use any opportunity he can to counterattack. Right, okay, so I found the page as well, page 23. It says, one-handed hanging. Weapons that can be handled with one hand, such as handguns, can be aimed and fired while hanging by pressing the square button, which I did. Yep. But, no. Not the right tree then, really. Press triangle, yep. Did that. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Never mind then. At least I know now. Let's move on. Let's use the microphone as well. Any movement at all? No. All very still. Keep that ready, just in case. 90%, that's good. Hmm. Nothing yet. A quick peek. More butterflies. Hmm. Okay. Anything? Maybe. Bird noises. Hmm. Okay. Then we go again. Hmm. The peak. Right. Oh, movement. Ah, another frog. Do we have any more room? Not in the cages, at least. Um, but... Could use my knife. Right. There you are. Two of you. Got 
Gotcha. Ha <laughs> ha. Great. Where did the other one go? Ah, right there. Got it? Yep. Great. That's working out a treat. Oh, something else. Another frog, perhaps? Yes. Oh, damn it! There goes the magpie, I guess. Damn. Bit too quick for me. And another frog. Huh. Loads of them now. Can't wait to start throwing these at the cards. That'd be cool to see the reactions in that. Hmm. And I really have to be careful on what I decide to eat because some food can be poisonous. So, yeah. I have to be very careful. Oh, look! Mushrooms! You find that? Excellent. Hmm, okay. A little peek. Oh, something's moving. Is that a... Uh... Yeah, hang on. Back up. I think that's a crocodile, isn't it? Looks like one to me. From what I could see... Yep. So there's three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Four. Ah. And I guess that's where we need to go over there. Hmm. Okay. Oh, jeez. Get a little bit closer. Right, now that we're on here, let's see if I can change my camo. So, face is fine. Uniform. Ah, look at this. Tree bark, 15. Squares, 5. Black, 15. I think we'll go with um, Tiger Stripe. Because they were both 15, weren't they? Oh no, tree bark, I mean, sorry. Yeah, so, yeah, that looks good. And the question is, hmm, how do I get across safely? Because I believe I read in the instructions that this is um, sinking mud and you can die. So, yeah, trying to... Ooh. The light swimming across it really isn't going to work. So, I'm going to need to be careful to go around the edges. Don't particularly want to use my gun on these guys. I guess you can't really capture these guys as food, but you might be able to. But trying to fit it into your backpack, well, that's another story. Hmm. My gauge is going down, my stamina. Yeah. Um. Give me a moment, guys. I'm going to pause for a second and uh, open up the manual again. Because those little gauges mean different things. Like one's an O2 gauge. Another one is like um, your grip gauge. Stamina and all of that. Uh, let's see. Hand trembling and all that sort of stuff. So that is my... Uh, Grip gauge. Hmm. The length of the grip gauge depends on how much stamina snake has. Right. Hmm. Uh, yeah. If it starts to get low, eat some food. Replenish it. Right. So then, 
What should I eat? Not eaten yet. Taste unknown. Hmm. Oh no, what happened to my, um... Ah, oh, they're still here. Ah, phew. Okay, um... Try eating that, <laughs> the python. See what happens. Eat. Nice. Nice little comment there. I like that. Nice feature there. Nice little touch. Tasty. <laughs> okay, so then. That gave us great stamina and recovery. That's good to know. What is that up there in the tree? Notice something there. Hang on. Is it perhaps like a bee's nest or something like that? Ah, look at that. Ha <laughs> ha ha. See magpies. Yeah, definitely a bee's nest. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it. I was just going to shoot the hat. <laughs> okay. Bit far away, though, to be honest. Hmm. Let's go through here. 85%. Must keep an eye on that. Ooh. Bug juice, eh? What's this? Ooh. Easy does it. More bug juice, I think. Ooh, hell. Stay away from the tail. Hmm. Not a good spot, really, is it? <laughs> to be honest. Um. Need to get across safely somehow. Perhaps I will have to shoot it. I don't really want to waste ammo, though. Hmm. Just keeps circling, doesn't it? Oh, God. Oh, hell, no. Got too close. Get down. Tricky, that. So down snake. Right. I think we're alright. Ish. Lost a bit of health, but other than that, I think we're okay. Let's turn around. Oh, grenade. Hey, nice. Hey! Oh no. Wait for a second. Okay. There we go. Oh shoot. Oh, jeez. Maybe we can quickly swim across. I think that's what we're meant to do. Not too long. Oh, something else here as well. Bullets. Great. Now, I want to try and shoot the nest. Just to see what happens. Why not? Okay. Ooh, two items. Probably going to get stung now to death. Leave me alone. Run, run, run. You can already. Right, we made it. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, but at least we're through. <laughs> That's the main thing. Back to crawling now. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Wasn't too bad. Anything over here? Another snake. Hmm. Okay. Time to use my uh, knife. Can you turn around, please? Thank you. Hey. Okay. So. Oh, hang on. Ah, is that a lemon or some sort of fruit? I wonder if I can uh, 
Get it with my knife, or do I have to shoot it? No. Nope. What is that? Fruits. Okay, let's take a look. Food. Um. On its nest. Don't think I really want to eat that. Good throwing weapon, though, I'm sure. Okay. Golova? Something like that? I'm quite sure how to pronounce that. Golova? Not sure. Minus five? Ooh, that's bad. Let's swap our camo back. Poker Strike 45! Beautiful. Well, hang on. Thief plus 10. Even better. And that's that then, I think. Yep. Alright. Put that away. I think we're good here. So, I'm just going to use my mic. Hmm. More movement, I think. It's not just us. Quick peek. Oh. Yep, another snake. Okay. Hmm. Hang on there, but what is that? But we did pick it up. Hmm, not sure. Keep an eye out for this snake. There it is. It's coming this way. Oh my word. There we go. Nicely done. Moving on. I think we're good. Um nothing else moving. New area perhaps now? With the screen going like that? Maybe not? Yes, okay. North, right. Now that wasn't too bad. Oh, cutscene. Time to make a call, perhaps? Have a little look first, I think. Yeah. Two guards. I've spotted two enemy soldiers. They're probably KGB troops sent to guard Sokolov. AK 47s and grenades. Hmm. That's not good. Snake, your presence in Soviet territory is already a violation of international law. You can't let the Kremlin find out that the CIA and the American government are involved. Contact with the enemy is strictly prohibited. Don't engage them in battle either. This is a stealth mission. Got that? The major is right. The point of this mission is to sneak through the. But I wanted to try and interrogate in this episode. The success of the mission depends on how throw well stuff. you use your camouflage. Maybe I still can. Change your camouflage by selecting camouflage from the survival viewer. The uniform option lets you yeah. pick your uniform, while the face option lets you change your face paint. Choosing camouflage that blends in with your surroundings will help you conceal yourself more effectively. Also, don't forget that anything that moves will stand out in the jungle. If you just stand up and run yeah. around like an idiot, you're bound to be spotted. <laughs> but if you crawl instead, you should be able to sneak by without being noticed. Hmm. You can see how effective your camouflage is by looking at the camo index. 
The camo index shows how well your current camouflage blends in with the surrounding area. The higher the value, the harder you are to spot and vice versa. The key is to make yourself one with nature. Keep that in mind as you go along, okay? Okay. Let's make a few calls, since this is a new area. Start with Major Tom. Snake, do you see any tufts of grass? Yeah. What kind of grass? Just ordinary grass. Nothing special. <laughs> you should check it anyhow. It's pretty thick grass, about waist high. If you crawl into the grass, you can advance undercover. When you do, the camera automatically switches to intrusion view. If you want to stand up again, yeah. press and hold the crawl button once more. If you press the crawl button briefly, Been doing that. you'll crouch in that spot. This allows you to observe things without blowing your cover. Got it? Yeah, but... But what? Was that the only reason? What do you mean? You had me check it just so you could tell me that? That's right. Pretty useful, huh? Right. Shall we carry on? By all means. <laughs> Even when hidden in grass, if you make a noise, your enemies will locate you. When enemies are nearby, oh, yeah. move with slight movements of the left analog stick. That way you can proceed with minimal disturbance. Sokolov should be at the abandoned factory to the north, so head in that direction. Right. Snake, remember that this operation is a solo sneaking mission. We'll be providing you with support over the radio, but out in the field, you're on your own. There's no backup. And there's no way you'll survive a battle with a large enemy contingent. Avoid engagement whenever possible. Your highest priority in this mission is staying out of sight. One more call to uh, Major Tom. Snake, that region is inside the enemy's area of control. I know. Time for the real deal. The enemy is running regular patrols. You don't know when or where you might run into them. Use camouflage prudently mm. and proceed with caution. Okay. Paramedic. I see you caught yourself a reticulated python. You said this before. The reticulated python is said to be the longest snake. We'll skip this one. I see you've caught a tree frog. Did that as well. I see you've got yourself a Baltic hornet. Here we go. Nest. Baltic hornets are a variety of hornets that inhabit that area. The difference between them and other hornets is that they produce honey in their nests. Inside the nests are larvae, pupa, and adults. You can eat them all. In particular, the honey you find inside the nest is delicious and full of nutrients. It's easy to digest and helps pep you up when you're feeling tired. In short, nice. it's the perfect survival food. I think I'll keep that then, actually. As a burn Other than throwing it. When honey is applied to a burn, it creates a protective coating over the skin. When you knock down a hornet's nest, a burn ointment will appear along with it. So don't forget to pick it up. Here we got some, I think. Of course, yeah. the hornets aren't going to give up their nest without a fight. If you knock a nest down, no. a large <laughs> swarm of hornets will come flying out. So be careful. That's what happened. Okay. I see you found some Russian oysters. Seen this one for as well. I see you found some Siberian ink cap mushrooms. I did. The Siberian ink cap is a mushroom from the ink cap family. Its life cycle is transitory. As soon as the spores mature, the cap starts to turn black, liquefy, and melt away. And that's why they call it an ink cap. That's right. It doesn't really turn to liquid, but you get the idea. 
In its immature state, before it melts away, it's valued as a source of food. Just be sure not to eat them while you're drinking alcohol. Why's that? Ink caps contain coprin, which inhibits the function of aldehyde dehydrogenase. This prevents the body from breaking down alcohol, causing a buildup of acetaldehyde. Meaning? Meaning it will give you the hangover from hell. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? You think I'd drink alcohol in the middle of a mission? Wouldn't you? Hell no. <laughs> well, I'm knocking a shot back now. What? Just you won't. You. Uh. <laughs> oh, come on. Where's your sense of humor? I need a drink. <laughs> okay. Looks like you found a Golova. 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 Ah, yeah, oh, right. Okay. It's that's how it's that's pronounced. Found only in that region. It's related to the jackfruit, which is commonly found in Southeast Asia. Jackfruit, huh? Jackfruit. Yep. He's a cannibal. Hmm. Huh? I didn't say anything. No, I'm sure you. I said I'm sure you'd like it. Oh. Golova means head in Russian. It's probably called that because the fruit grows to about the size of a human head. It's supposedly pretty good to eat mm. with a uniquely sweet flavor. The fruit itself is fairly large, so you can make a meal out of it. Golovas grow directly off the trunk of the tree. If you're running low on stamina, it might be a good idea to keep an eye on the tree trunks. Hmm. Snake, that area is inhabited by magpies. Magpies are members of the crow. Right, she said this before as well. In the other area. That area is home to the Sunda whistling thrush. Right. The Sunda whistling thrush is a bird native to Java and Sumatra. It's distinguished by its large blue body and long beak. It really stands out in the forest. If you're aiming to catch one alive, use the tranquilizer gun. It's so quick, though, the bird. Got it. So. How does it taste? Yeah. I think I've got to wait until I they've landed somewhere, really. The guy doesn't say. I guess there's no reason Before trying to get him. them. Oh, I see. But it's nice and plump, so I'm sure it'd make a hearty meal. That's a good point. Ugh. You'll find a fruit called the Yabloko Maloko growing in that area. Right. What now? Yabloko Maloko. It's a Russian name that roughly translates as milk apple. It's a type of star apple. The juice is thick and sweet, like milk, hence the name. And if you mm. cut one in half lengthwise, you'll see a star-shaped ring radiating out from the center. Hence the star apple. Right. The star-shaped part has a gelatinous texture and is said to be especially tasty. Sounds useful. You're welcome. For once. Did you say something? No, uh, back to the mission. <laughs> the gauge below your life gauge is your stamina gauge. It shows, as the name suggests, your remaining stamina. Have we heard this one? I as can't remember. As you consume stamina, your natural life regeneration is slowed, and your hands shake more. Your O2 gauge and grip gauge also become shorter. Excessively low stamina can often impede your mission objectives. Make sure you replenish stamina before that occurs. Yeah, I think we have heard that one. Okay, block the boss. You can only use CQC to grab enemies when your right hand right, is heard this to one. grab and pull them toward you. In other words, when you're bare... Yeah, okay. I see you're wearing the leaf pattern camouflage. The leaf pattern was Heard this one as well. You're wearing the woodland face yeah. paint, I see. So, we've had all of these. One more try. Normally, you would ask a fellow soldier. Okay. I think that is it. So I am going to make one more call to Major Tom, just in case. You got anything else to say? Sokolov should be at the abandoned factory no. to the north, so head in that direction. That's it then. Right. 
I would like to try and interrogate. If I can. We see how this goes. I know the object is to remain in stealth and not be seen. But I would like to try to interrogate all the same. If I can at all. Okay. We'll wait here for just a moment. 65%. Should be safe here. Oh, maybe not. No, it's not. Down. 9%. Okay. I don't think he saw me. Coming this way, though. Got to remain very still. Hmm. The problem is now, though, I can't see him. And if I move... Hmm. Better just wait. He goes back or something. Like that. I dare didn't move, to be honest. I think he's coming back. Is he coming back? Hmm. Should I move or... Hmm. No, I'm just going to wait. I'm going to take my time here. I'm not going to move. Just want to see. Right. He's just doing a circle, isn't he? I'm not in a good spot here. Maybe now I can try and interrogate. Okay. So, give me a moment. I just want to quickly uh, check something in the instructions. So, to grab, press the circle button next to an enemy without moving the left analog stick. Okay, so... Can't press it too hard. I'll use the D pad to uh, sneak a little bit. Right, he's right there. Who's that? Oh man, we're a grab though. Right, he's knocked out. Damn! Maybe I was too far away. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Oh, I can be seen. Damn it! Even with 90%? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll use my, um... Fake death pill. Try this out. Oh no, you got me! Ugh. Right. So, revival. Hang on a moment. Can you go away, please? Yes, I'm dead. Huh. That's what you think. Oh no, I guess there's a timer once the letters disappear. Yeah, perhaps. 
I don't know. Wait till they go away. Revival. Heh 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 we wait until um, he gets back up and we'll try this again. That worked pretty well. Right. Got two pills left. He's still knocked out. Okay, hang on. He might have something on him. Bullet. Anything else? Yes. Done grenade. Hey, hey. This guy's got loads of stuff. Oh, he's going to wake up. He's only got one star left. Wait here again. So, yeah. Not sure what happened there. Maybe I was too far away. I'm not too sure. Hmm. Yeah, it says here, the key to ZQC is getting close enough to the enemy without being detected. One way to do this is to sneak up from behind by stalking. Yeah. So, perhaps I was too far away. Is he up again? I can hear movement. Hmm. Where are you? Don't step on me. Ah, oh, there he is. Right. So, knife. Let's see what happens. Nice and easy, though. Right. So, stand up. Stalk. Press it lightly. Just lightly. See? I pressed it lightly. It attacked him again. Oh, I don't know. Um, about that. Damn it, alert again. Okay, well, that ended quickly. Ah, see, I'm not sure about that. I'm doing something wrong, aren't I? Ooh, bug juice again. Cool. I want to try and get used to this mechanic. I really do. It'd be great if I could just grab him successfully at this point. Um... But yeah, perhaps I'll try it without the weapon next time. See what happens. But yeah, I'm not too sure. I thought I was fairly close to him there. But, hmm. I will get it. Just requires a bit of practice. I don't want to press it too hard, you see. But, hmm. Just looking through the instructions again. Snake can only use CQC when he is unarmed or holding a weapon, such as the survival knife or a handgun. That leaves his right hand free to grab and pull the enemy toward him. Hmm. Yeah, so... I'm not too sure. Really. Just going to wait until he gets back up again. Which won't be too long, I'm sure. Oh, 
Stay down, snake. Get away from that tree. I'll move back a bit. Give him some room. So we don't get stepped on. Oh. Damn it. HQ. This is HQ. 90%, but give me a moment. That's fine. Yeah. Damn it. Acknowledged. Sending reinforcements. Use extra caution. Shoot. Reset. Hmm. Just wait him out. Don't come over here. Eighty-three seconds. Huh. Maybe they'll give up though. Before the timer reaches zero, perhaps. You won't give up. Three, perhaps. Oh, don't do that. Damn it. Um, fake pill again. Oh, you got me. Uh. <laughs> That's a guy we killed before. Hey, he has my stun grenade. I'll take that. <laughs> right. Oh, quickly before he sees me. You saw nothing? Oh, no. Oh, damn it. Don't step on me. He's just a tree frog. Nobody here. Yeah. Snake, don't... Oh, when he gets near an object, he stands up by himself. It's just... Oh, man. Got to be very careful when it comes to things like that. Now, I'm going to try this again. I want to interrogate. I really do. If I can just get this down... I'd be happy. Um, but we'll see how this goes. Right. Okay. Oh, come on. I didn't even move. I didn't even move. What the hell? Guess you must have just seen me. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, if I just use my pill over here. Unless. Hang on. Don't move. Damn it, you've seen me. Okay. Use my pill again, my last one. Oh, you got me. Uh, again. This is great. At the same time. Him again? Huh. Right. Going away. Right. And we're back. Now where is this guy?
Where'd he go? We'll get this down. Ah, oh, just going to take some practice, like I say. Where is he? Can't see him. Hmm. Is he over there? Oh, there he is. Right. Now, I'm going to try this again. I know I can do this. I know I can do this. You just gotta press it lightly. Ah! Um, right. Interrogate. Oops. I pressed it too much. Shoot! Oh, I had it! I had it! No! So, do I have to hold it down first, kind of thing, and then press it lightly? Yeah. I'm struggling with that. Okay, well, he's dead now. Press it down too much. Oh, well. Well, luckily, there are more guards. So, yeah. Yeah, because he punched again. Hmm. This is going to take some getting used to, I must say. While we're here, any other fruit in the trees or anything like that? Can't see anything. Yeah, because my instinct is like to hold it down first and then like press it like um, lightly a second time. But then when I gave it another go, it seemed to work, so I'm not too sure. But at least I can try again. Oh, where does this lead then? Huh. Interesting. A secret path, perhaps? I'll take a quick look at my map. There it goes somewhere. Do I need to change my camo, or...? Yeah. Okay. Thirty-five percent. What is up here? Something's moving. Hmm. Oh, another snake. Ah! Oh, no! Run, snake! Oh, jeez. Okay. Another snake. And I think that's it. From what I can tell, I think. Oh, no, there's something else down here. Another snake and... Sniper rifle, eh? Ah, cool. I'll take that. Right. That's for you. There you go. Okay. Good find there. Thing in the trees, from what I can see, at a quick glance. No. Okay.
Oh, yes, I've got a new uh, weapon, so I should make a call. Um, hang on. Let's open our backpack. Yes, I want this. Um, nice one. So, got to make a few calls. So yeah, equip it, and then pull up the boss. I see you're wearing the tiger stripe camouflage. We haven't heard this one. The tiger stripe pattern has been in use since 1959 among the South Vietnamese Marine Corps. But the pattern originated with the French. It's said that it developed out of the brushstroke pattern, also known as lizard camouflage. It provides some right. cover in trees and grass, but it's especially effective in earth and mud environments. You should find it useful when you're concealing yourself by crawling on the ground. Yep. I see you've got your hands on an SVD. I have. The SVD is the Soviet Union's most advanced automatic sniper rifle. It's said to be better designed and more durable than anything the West has. It looks kind of like an AK-47. The shape is similar, but the internal mechanism is one of a kind. It uses 7.62 by 54 millimeter rimmed cartridges which are more powerful and precise than the ones the AK uses. It can be a powerful weapon if you know how to use it. Sniper rifles aren't meant to be used on the move. When you equip one, you'll immediately go into first-person view. The more stable your stance, the less your hands will shake when you're aiming the rifle. Make sure you're lying down before attempting to make a long-distance hmm. shot. To use the scope, press okay. the aim button. You can also use the action button to change the level of magnification. By taking out right. enemies from a distance with the sniper rifle, you can shift the odds in your favor. Use it well. Okay. Anyone else have anything to say about it? Eat food to recover stamina. Capture plants and animals to get food. I have information on the local plants and animals, so don't hesitate to ask. Take that as a no then for you, Major Tom. Anything to say about it? Snake, I recommend against leaving the bodies of your victims lying around. If the enemy spots a fallen comrade, they'll realize that they've been infiltrated and strengthen their guard. He's hidden in the when grass. You kill an enemy, hide the body in the grass or at some other location where it won't be spotted. Stand near a fallen enemy and press the weapon button with no weapon equipped to grab the body. Hold the weapon button and move to drag the body. Release the weapon button to put the body down. Okay. So no, he's got nothing else to say about that. So let's equip, let's see, the grenade. Pull up the boss. I see you found yourself an RGD-5. RGD stands for Rochnaya Granada Degtereva in Russian. I guess the boss is the best one to call up about the weapons. Design. It's the standard issue glass fragmentation grenade of the Soviet Army. It's lighter than the M26. And it carries fewer explosives as well. But I'd say it's more or less equal to an M26 in terms of performance. Be careful, though. The safety pin ring is on the opposite side. You'll be fine as long as you keep the safety lever pressed down with your finger. I'll keep that in mind. Blast fragmentation grenades use a combination of blast and shrapnel to kill their targets. This makes them effective against standing targets, but significantly less effective against targets lying on the ground. Remember that. Right, okay. Um, so now, stun grenade. That's certainly a strange-looking grenade you've got there. Yeah, I've never seen one like this. What is it? It must be a new type of grenade developed by the Russians. From what I can tell, it's a non-lethal weapon that uses a flash of light and intense sound to overpower the senses of human targets. You can probably use that grenade to knock out the enemy without killing them. It might prove useful. 
Yeah. Okay. So moving on. I want to interrogate in this episode. I really do. Thirty five per cent, okay. Think I can make it to the next patch of grass. Oh, fifteen. Oh, twenty. Ooh. Squares, yep. Yeah. Anything else for my face? Ten. Okay, ten, so Japan. Good. Oh, here goes another bird. Oh, we can climb up that tree. Where did the other guards go? Hmm, 60. 65, can't improve that at all? No. That's the best I'm going to get. Which way should I go? I could either climb up that tree, or... If I go back... Oh man, look at my gauge. Um. Let's see. That's tasty. <laughs> That's tasty. I have to take your word for it, Snake. <laughs> oh. Okay. Is that a leaf or something? Maybe. Ah. Where are the other guards? Oh. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Too late. I was going to say I better change that. Um. He's already seen me, but. Who's that? You can escape. Down. 85. Going down quick. Am I okay here? No! Get out of there. Right. 85 again. Am I safe here? Probably not. Is that him? I see him. Damn it! Oh. Any good? No. No. Didn't think it would be. That'll do. <laughs> To hide. That's in that tree. Come on, snake, run. Grenade. Work ascent. No. No good. They've seen me there. Oh, jeez. No, no, no. Right. Gonna hide here? No. Right, I'm gonna have to use my stun grenade, aren't I? Give me time to get away. Ah, oh, not from him. Ah, oh, jeez, getting torn apart here. Snake, do you read? Snake, Major. Snake, are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. You're far from okay. Look at your life gauge. 
You're on your last I know. No. I can still. <laughs> See? Snake, this is a solo sneaking mission. Do you know what that means? I know. No, you don't. Huh? It means there's <laughs> no backup. No cavalry. If you're taken out, nobody is there to take your place. Pull out for now and recuperate. Find a hiding place and get some rest. Your life gauge will gradually recover with time. But the speed of your life gauge recovery depends on the level of your stamina gauge. So get plenty to eat, then get some rest. You hear me? Do you hear me? I hear you. Yes. Oh jeez, I'm probably gonna die anyway. Um. Hmm. Hang on. Can't I just eat something to get some health back? No, right, it's bug juice. What does that do? Let me see. Bug repellent. Ah. Keeps away hornets and leeches. Okay. Cool. Um, I'm so dead. I'm gonna try and eat something. Perhaps that restore some of my life back. Don't know though. Might not. What about this hornet's nest? I want some more. <laughs> Right, try another stun grenade. Nearly dead. And he wasn't stunned, apparently. Yeah, and I'm dead. Damn it! Okay. So where will that put me now, then? Here again. Do I have a sniper rifle? No. Nope. What else do I have or not have? Well, okay. They're all still here. Um. Grenades I still have. No stun grenades or anything. No. Nope. Okay. So that's that. What about um, the stuff I got from the hive? Guess it's gone. Shoot. That's a shame. Yeah. On its nest. Yeah, I don't have things that come with it, though. Oh, well. So, I will try and interrogate. Right, I can't see where the guy is. Where is he? Oh no, he's still here. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, you're seeing things. Yes, you are. Where are you, though? Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, at least I still have my uh, fake death pills. That's still good. That's fine. Ah, oh, there you are. Right. Now, I'm going to try this again. Let's see what happens. Right, okay. Might be able to pull all this off again. We'll see. We'll do it. Okay, now hang on. Uh, oh, there it go. Damn it. Okay, hang on. Interrogate. Ah, oh, shoot. 
Hey. Right, um, interrogate. No. Hey. Stay down. I think he's knocked out. No, he's not. Damn it. If I hide... I'm um, not there. Find some grass. Stop hugging that tree, snake. Right, if I just hide here... Should be out of the way enough. Time is going down quick. At least I can grab him now, alright. It's just... Yeah. Trying to interrogate. What? Come in, HQ. This is HQ. Ah. Patrol here. We've lost the enemy. Enter high alert. Acknowledged. The enemy is still nearby. Pursue and engage him. Can you guys go away, please? Shouldn't have moved. Ah, oh, jeez. Right. If I run um, back down here. Ah, oh, jeez. Be okay here. No. Hmm. Any good? Oh. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Damn, damn, damn. Just kill me. Don't get this reset. I'm not going to waste my pills here. Couldn't really get away. Be honest. Um, like I said, I could have used my pill there, but I've already lost a lot of health, and uh, yeah, probably easier to just get killed there. Now let's wait for this guy. Okay. Have that equipped at this time. So I can grab him okay now, but just holding him and then interrogating him. That's the tricky part that I'm struggling with. He's slowly making his way here. Hmm. Need to try and get this down. Maybe I should like try and hold him up first, something like that. Might be easier. Hmm. Might have to try that. Right. Right, time to stalk. Then press L3 afterwards. Without letting go. Lightly tap circle and L3. Ah. Oh. Hold him. Right, then. Light tap circle. No. Oh. Hold. 
Don't go for dying. That just, that just lets him go. Now that's throwing him. Hide. Ah. And of course I've been seen again. Hide all the way at the back here. Well, watch out for that snake, though. Not gonna move. Yeah, I'm struggling with this. I can grab them, but then it's trying to hold on to them and then interrogate. Hmm. That's what's confusing me. Don't see me. I wonder what I'm doing wrong. Hmm. What's wrong is I can't interrogate. They're going to step on me, aren't they? Probably. Let's reset. Oh. Give up. Oh, look at that snake. Oh, my word. They don't see me. That thing's going to bite me, isn't it? <laughs> I dare didn't move. Hey. Huh. Please don't bite me. Under a minute. Hopefully the timer won't reset. Come on. 46. Is that the guards moving the grass or is it like another animal? Not sure. I didn't move though all the same, just in case. Nearly there. Oh. Twenty seconds. Long time. Hmm. Much more than the other two games would have thought. Yeah. Don't really remember it taking this long when I was seen. Right. <laughs> Done. Right. 
Are we okay? Okay. Not gonna bother with that snake at the moment. Uh, well, the sniper rifle. Quickly grab that now. Okay. Now this guy. We'll interrogate him. He's got to hold on to him. Really? Where'd he go? Come on, snake, move. There you go. Right. Back into the grass. Before he comes round. Can hear footsteps. Where is he? There he is. Right. Okay. You better have some useful info. Huh. After all of this. Just need to pull this off. I'm determined that I can do it. I'm determined. Right. Then I have to press L3. Right, so. Grab. L3. Oh no! Ah, oh. oh, jeez. I killed him again. I'll take that. Too firm on the button. But I don't want to let go of him though, because, like, if I press it down. You know, just lightly. It grabs onto him briefly. Then he just, like, gets out of it. And he just, like, runs off and he shoots at me and stuff like that. You know what I mean? It's just... Uh, I want to hold on to him long enough so I can interrogate him. But not enough to actually... I don't want to actually kill him. But I don't want to let him go. You know what I mean? It's just... Uh, finding it tricky. I'm not going to bother changing camo. Just to get across there. No, there's another guard down here. Know that much. From before. Question is, whereabouts is he? I swear there was one over here, wasn't there? Yeah, there he is. Right. Okay. Wait till he comes around. Oh, there's some fruit out there, I can see. Where are you going to go now? Don't move. See where he goes. He's just doing the circuit, I think. Right. Now, let's sneak. Or stalk. Now, in terms of camo. Might just change it. Keep stalking. Right. And grab. Interrogate. So he gets out of it. Interrogate. God. Hold it down, sort of thing. Interrogate. Right. Speak. So you done it. You didn't say anything. Speak, speak. 
Oh. Jeez. So I managed to do it, but I've got no information. Guess because of the alert. Need to get out of here. Come on, Snake. I managed to do it. But the alert has uh, stopped me from getting any information. I can hide in here. What are they shooting at? They don't know I'm in here, do they? Oh, the blooming do as well. Right, I'm going to use one of my pills. Speed this up a bit. Oh, you got me! Uh, yeah. Okay. He's definitely dead. Right. Oh no! Shoot! I click continue. Oh no! Oh, I knew that's going to happen to me at one point. <laughs> we'll forget to use the pill, but I had it selected in the menu. Oh jeez. Right. Put us back here. Right, I am going to interrogate this guy. I am determined. He's just so fiddly. Well, I'm finding it to be a little bit. The whole, you know, holding it down the circle button, but not too much. You know, pressing it lightly, and then if you hold it down too much, it will kill him. And, ah. Uh, a little bit fiddly. If I press it, like, just lightly a bit, it holds on to him. But then he quickly runs off. I'm just trying to find a balance of actually pressing it lightly, but then um, so it holds onto him long enough so that I can actually interrogate him and that he doesn't escape. But, ugh, trying to find the balance. It's not easy. I'm going to move back a bit, actually. Right. That should be okay. I want to hear what he has to say. I did do interrogation a bit briefly, but the alert was on, so... Can you get any information? Right. Keep walking. Won't stand up just yet. Right, now I will. Now, get close enough to him. Right. Speak. Speak. We won't hand over Sokolov. Ah. I've done it. Nice one. Yes, I finally done it. Oh, you don't know how happy I am. Ah. Oh. I'm relieved that I finally managed to do it. I really am. I'm so relieved. I mean, seriously. Ah, oh, jeez. But, finally. I'm oh, not close enough. I've done it, so, yeah. Ah, take that. Great. It's all worth it in the end. At least I think so. <laughs> Took a while, yes. Took quite a while, I must say. But, in the end, managed to do it. So, I'm happy with that. Uh, Got to get through here before he wakes up. You've got three stars. Oh, one's just gone. You've got two left. You're going to be up any time soon. Right. Now, quickly get across there. Down. Back up.
Let's see if I can interrogate this guy. Wherever he is. Can't see him yet, though. There's some fruit up there as well. There he is. So what we got from the interrogation was that they weren't going to hand over Sokolov. Yeah, and that was it. But you're going to change my camo, why not? Just in case. Might just help me out. To a point. Right. Speak. Oh, no. Ah, damn it. Knocked him out. Oh, well. Hide here. 80%. Nothing's wrong. The enemy's oh. They must have seen his body. This is HQ. Patrol here. We're under enemy fire. Enemy's position is unknown. Going into alert formation. Eight percent should be okay, unless I can change it again. No, that's it. That's the best I'm going to get. Now we just have to wait. Quite a long time though. 80 seconds. Nearly a minute to go. Hmm. I'm trying to get that fruit, but. We'll see what happens. Nearly there. I suppose if I tried to interrogate that guard over there, it wouldn't really work because of the caution mode. You wouldn't say anything like when I tried it um, before, during the alert mode. Hmm. Oh, come on, you already swept this area. 20 seconds, nearly.
Here we go. Right, that's it. Okay. Where'd he go? Oh, he's over there. Ooh, that's bad. 20%. Squares. Base. Germany. Sixty. Let's uh, get back in this grass for now. Okay. I want to try and interrogate him again. It's all about practice. Nine percent, that's fine. I just got to find the right balance of grabbing and holding and then interrogate without actually accidentally killing him. Because, like, if I let go of the circle button or you know, just tap it lightly, it only grabs him briefly. Oh, what am I doing? Oh my god. Right. Gotta relax. Who's that? Speak, speak. If you climb trees, they Oops. And he cut him, I guess. Right, let's get into the next area. Come on, Snake, go! See if the alert ends. That was lucky. I'm not finishing that area yet, though. I'm trying to try and get that fruit. They shouldn't follow me through here, will they? Might be. Oh, there's a bridge there. Yeah, they're following me. And there's another guard! Come on, Snake, get up! Get up! Right, back to the north. Not finishing that area. I just thought if I left, it might, on the off chance, finish the alert, but nope. Safe. Yes, in now. Another log there. Oh, what's that? Green thing there. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. No, 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 no. Um, woodland, yes. That's fine. Hang on, what's going on here? No paint? No! What am I pressing here by accident? Right, there. That's what I want. Right. I'll come out a little bit. No. No good. Oh, mushrooms there. I'm nearly dead. Ah, just kill me. There's no point using the death pill. Okay, well... Um, just thinking what I should do now. Okay, do I still have the sniper rifle and all that? Yes, I do. Okay, well, that's good.
Kill three of those, great. Let's try interrogating again. We'll get this down. Two guards. Did you go away, please? One on the left. Where are you going? Get some health back, though, so that's all right. Hmm. So, I guess laying down restores your health? Looking that way. Huh. Right now, hang on. Where'd that other guy go? I don't know. Maybe he went over there. Oh, man. You two. There's a mushroom over there I saw. There's that fruit. There's a green thing over there. Not sure what that is. I'd like to try and get. I want to try and interrogate you. Right. Keep going that way, please. I'll do a bit of stalking. Right. Speak. The crocodiles are ferocious. They certainly are. Right, now hang on. Want to throw him? No, I oh, won't. Well. Well, at least I think I've gotten that down now. He's knocked out, right. Can hide in here. I don't think they saw me, did they? At least I think I've got that down now. That's the main thing. I think they definitely know I'm here. Yeah. No, I didn't mean to do that. Let's get out of here. Right. No, stop hugging that tree, snake. Let's just leave. For a second. Back to the swamp. Yeah, I just tried to throw him down, really. Um, didn't quite work out. As I planned. That worked. Time has stopped. We're all right again. Okay. Now the guard here. I guess. Yeah, 
He's back. Just want to try something. Okay. Bit of stalking. Answer me. He's not going to. I mean, who saw me though? Really? Must have been somebody down there. No one else around that I can see. Oh, we'll just leave. Okay, then, well, thank you for watching, everybody. It's been an interesting episode. I think I've got the interrogation mechanic down now. Certainly taken me a long time to do that. Um, but yeah. And hopefully next time we can uh, go and get that fruit and the green thing, whatever it is, and the mushrooms. And uh, we'll take it from there. So I'll have a quick save. At least I won't forget the sniper rifle again. I shouldn't do it, at least. Saving the game, Snake? I am. Or if I do, it don't matter. There we go. Snake, do you know the creature from the Black Lagoon? Nope, never heard of it. I've heard of it. These scientists are investigating a place deep in the Amazon called the Black Lagoon, and they get picked off one after the other by this fishman thing. And there was the scene when the heroine is going for a swim, and the creature sneaks up on her from underwater. Oh, I thought my heart was going to stop. I mean, of course, the hmm. 3D effects and it came from outer space were a lot more intense, but... It wouldn't be referring to you coming from outer space, would it? How rude! Hmm. Why do you say that? Because no one on Earth could be as charming as you. <sighs> Fine. I'll just get to the point, Snake. <laughs> be careful of what's around you when you're in the water. Just imagining you swimming in those jungle rivers makes me think of you being attacked by a fish man. I appreciate the concern. Fishmen aren't the only things that'll attack you in the water. Really be careful out there. Okay. And don't be attacking any pretty girls going for a swim, either. Huh. Are you calling me a fish man? You started it. Okay, then. Bye for now, everybody.